If you're over 50 and uh, struggling understanding computers, the internet, would like to know where to go to learn more about it, well, we're going to tell you a bit more. And if you'd like to ask a question, 1300 222 612, you can call in right now. Fellow French from Older People Speak Out, and who's a regular on the afternoon show in 2008 in our Five Good Reasons debate, well, has just added another title. She's now patron of Brisbane Seniors Online. Now, Brisbane Seniors Online, or BESOL, I'm assuming that's how it's said, has been around since uh, about uh, 2000, 2001, and they help over 50s learn a bit more about computers and the internet in their own home. Dick Bennett is from the Brisbane Seniors Online, and Val French has also joined us today. And if you're an over 50 struggling with your computer and like a little bit of help this afternoon, maybe we can help you out. Give us a call, 1300 222 612, or send a text message, 199 212. Maybe you'd just like to know where to go to get a little bit of help. 1300 222 612, 199 212. Val and Dick, good afternoon. Thanks good for afternoon. coming in. Good afternoon, Chris. Uh, so congratulations, Val, firstly. Um, patron, what, is this, what title, what does this do for you? What do you have got to do as, as a patron? Well... Um, I found out I've got to do a lot more than I thought I'd have to do, <laughs> but I'm delighted to have been made that patron, I really am, because it fits beautifully in with what older people speak out of doing. Uh, it really just says to me, hey, older people, come on, get into the computer world. This is a big part of positive ageing. Mm. And so uh, you do a lot of computer work yourself, obviously? Well, um, because we're a volunteering, volunteering organisation made up entirely of volunteers, I have no secretary. So if there's any volunteers out there that want to be my <laughs> secretary, they can ring me in any time they like because I have to do all my own work. And sometimes I find that a bit tedious, particularly as I'm very much a two-finger typist. Oh, uh, so there, there's your next skill. You've got to learn how to touch type as well. Oh, that's one of the reasons why I accepted this job. I mean, to say, look at all the help I'm going to get. Oh, that, well, that's right. So, Dick, what do you expect of Val? What's she going to have to do for you? Well, Val's got a, um, an incredible exposure to the, the publicity side of things and journalism, and we, we are hoping that Val can help us out in in um, promoting uh, what Br Brisbane Seniors Online is all about and recruiting more mentors and recruiting more um, learners in certain areas. Okay, well, just give us a bit of a thumbnail sketch of what uh, Brisbane Seniors Online actually does. Well, we teach the basics to over 50s in the Brisbane area uh, for a small affordable fee of $40 a year. We will come into your home, normally in your home, and we'll give you 12 one-hour one-on-one lessons in the basics of, wow. of using a computer. And then from the balance of the year, you can attend uh, advanced training on, on things like big things like genealogy and digital photography, making a website, internet banking and the like. We bring in experts as well that, that run sessions on uh, on those training sessions as well. Okay, so Val, what do you yeah. use your computer for? Well, I have to use my computer for most things, actually, because we've got a big uh, website and um, I have to particularly do all the emails from everybody all over the place who, you know, get, get us. But quite frankly, I think that what they're doing is absolutely fantastic because for older people, the most threatening thing of all mm. when you think about using a computer is having someone come in and teach it to you and you will feel a mug. Mm. Now, when you are getting somebody like a mentor from this organisation coming in, they make you feel good. You know, there's no, no, no threats, no thinking, oh, gee, I'm never going to learn this. When you, when you are dealing with people who are simply, you know, your own friend sort of thing, mm. coming in on a friendly basis like that, then you don't have to be frightened of computers. You don't have to feel silly if, like I do when I hit the <laughs> wrong thing, you know? And I think this is so important. It's, it's very different from going somewhere where you're paying in a school type of situation. This is people who are like you, who yeah. know you, who want to work with you. And, and you that's ask, pretty big. And you can ask the questions in the privacy of your own home. Yeah, and it's so important to be able mm -hmm. to do that. Do you, do you find that there's uh, a large group of people say, oh, I'm just too old to learn. It's just all too late. I, I just can't do that. Do you find that in your organisation, well, Val? Or? Not in my organisation, but I do find them in some of the other organisations. <laughs> <laughs> As I said, we've got to work in ours. No, truly... Um, there are people who say that, you know, oh, it's too late now or I couldn't do that sort of thing. Look, 
I, when I was many years ago, I felt the same way and I kept saying to myself, I'm never going to get a handle on this. I can't, I'm not mechanically minded. Mm. But honestly and truly, you can't be without it in this day. Not, and not age. these days. No, no right. you've got to, look, if, if, as you grow old, you've got to keep up with the world. If you don't do that, you just rot away, don't you? Mm, absolutely. So do, do you find there's, there's a, a, a group of people who just don't want to learn because they just feel that they're just too old or they're past it, they just don't need to to have that technology. And how do you get through to them? Well, we do get uh, some people like that, and we encourage them to, to join BSOL. Um, and some of them go on to be um, very competent computer users. And the other thing, not just in their own personal life after, like, retirement and that, but they can help with other voluntary organisations. Many of our uh, learners have gone on to assist with with other volunteer um, organisations and, and become on committee. So that's the added advantage. So it gives them another interest as well. And, and it helps uh, break down that social isolation, I suppose you were saying, before right. how people can actually get together, not only with other computer users, but eventually get together online. But also, there's another side of this. Mm. They can get together with their grandkids. They can get together with their sons and daughters. The best way to deal with grandkids, especially when they've reached the teenagers and are whipping out all over the place, is to be able to talk their lingo mm. and to be able to you know use computers and get to them that way and they love to come and sort of uh, you know they get a bit pleased with the fact that, that they can give you a bit of a hand too as mm. well you know I think they're probably a little bit proud you know, my, my grands is uh, is uh, uh, on the computer uh, on the internet searching doing yes. stuff on the internet yes. yeah, yeah.